What's going on, people? Pyopa here again, bringing you another battle, this time against Dustox King from YouTube, His Majesty of Dustoxes. This was a really fun battle, NU battle, so I hope you guys enjoyed, and here we go. He's going to lead off with a Macargo, I'm going to lead off with Grumpig. Now, I, I was expecting the Lava Plume, but I do carry the Lumberry in case of a burn, but I don't want to, you know, waste it on that. Switching to Gastrodon, who I know can take the Lava Plume and the burn, because, you know, I'm a special attacker. He goes for Swagger, though, which was like, whoa, where the hell did that come from? He goes for the Toxic, so luckily for me that missed, I can go into Curious to take the second incoming Toxic. And afford, I'm not too worried about it. You know why? Because Curious is like, oh, cool, he's all mellow. Because he goes for the Psycho Shift, buddy. That's the new trick that Curious has. How do you like them apples, buddy? Put that poison right back at you. And he goes for the Ancient Power. Um, I knew I could live it because, uh, well, you know, they don't tend, those Macargo things don't tend to have too much special attack. They just kind of... Stand there and go like, Macargo, Macargo, look at me, I can poison stuff and swagger you, Macargo. Okay, so I go, I go into Gastrodon, yeah, to take the Ancient Power, he goes for the Toxic though, good play. Now I was expecting, uh, you know, a Pokemon that would resist water, so I go for Earth Power, he brings in this Wormadam thing, he's just staring at me with its little bitty eyes, and shuddering in anticipation, so that let me know, oh yeah, I have Ice Beam, I can kill that thing's ass. But unfortunately it doesn't work, he starts throwing leaves at me like an idiot, and I have this Ringo Berry that supposedly protects me from a grass attacks. It doesn't work, so damn it, I need to get my refund from the berry store. So that sucked. I go into Braveheart, who's like, oh, braving, charging into battle, going for the Thunderbolt. It doesn't KO. I'm like, shit, this thing goes for the Signal Beam, but I know it's not too big a deal because its special attack is lowered. So I go for the Thunderbolt the second time, and if it didn't KO, I'd seriously throw this DS out the window. I get a crit, which I don't think mattered because, you know, Braveheart is just epic. And now he goes into this Macargo, who's like, Macargo! And I'm like, yeah, yeah, I know you're like a stupid little slug thing. Take this Thunderbolt and get out the hell out of here. Which he does. Kaboom, one hit KO because a stab, life orb, Thunderbolt is going to do some destructive damage, people. Now I go into Curious because he brings in this Battle Axel, and I thought it was going to set up something stupid like Stealth Rocks. Didn't want Curious to take it. Uh, after the match, so um, I switched it in. Yeah, he didn't know why the hell I brought a Noctowl. Well, he thought I was going to do something really interesting like Roar of Time, though. That would just be stupid. I go for the Hypnosis. Thankfully, it hits with a 60% accuracy. I was like, yes, Poke Gods, Thank you for giving me your power! And I go into Krusty now, and I knock off that thing's Choice Specs, which was sweet. He goes for the Side Beam, which was really interesting, and I just poison it because I wanted to poison something. He poisoned me, so I'm like, you bastard, I'm going to do the same thing to you. Haha, <laughs> take that. Well, I already did because of Psycho Shift, but, you know, like, actual Toxic, yeah, yeah. So switch out, expecting the other Side Beam. He makes a good play and goes for Surf, so I'm like, oh, crap. Grumpig, hang in there! I love Grumpig's animation. It's like, Grumpig, yeah! It's like charging into battle, man. That thing is awesome. So, uh, yeah, Surf, he gets a crit. I'm like, damn it. I go for Grass Knot, which is stupid, because that thing doesn't even weigh anything. It's just a little fish. So I should, I've really gone for the Psychic, but here I make a stupid play. I go for the Trick Room, and I was like, yeah, I thought it would help me, but then I'm like, oh my freaking god, he has that Armaldo, Pyopo, what the hell is wrong with you? So, um, yeah, his Armaldo, he's going to send in the Armaldo now, of all things, so I'm like, shit. Now, I should have le left Porky to die here, because he's going to go for the knockoff and knock off my leftovers, and Krusty's like, Cookie, no, my Cookie, Cookie! And if you get the joke, if you watch the anime, you know that Kingler is one of, those, one of those few Pokemon that doesn't say its name. It says something retarded, like, Cookie, Cookie, Cookie! And I thought that was freaking hilarious. That's why Kingler is one of my favorite Pokemon. So Kingler gets his cookies knocked off, and he's really pissed off. Goes for the Crab Hammer. It misses the second turn, and it misses again. Like, honestly, what the hell is going on? So I go for Psychic now, because the Trick Room has faded away, which is awesome. I go for the Psychic, Armaldo is down, which is, like, cool, because Grumpig is just, like, charging into battle like that. Now he brings out the Dodrio, the Junkhead, the three birds who are on crack and can't decide what to do, because this little birdie went to the market to get his crack. This little birdie's cleaning the, cleaning the house, and this little birdie's, birdie's drill-pecking the shit out of this bacon to get it on his sandwich. Yeah, what the hell's up with that? Never mind. Going to Braveheart, I didn't actually expect to win the speed tie. No, no, it wasn't a speed tie. I know I'm faster, but I don't actually have max speed. And I thought, shit, if that Dodrio takes me out, all I have left in reserve is Pinsir. And that thing can't stand up to Dodrio. But the Thunderbolt fries that chicken, man. Anybody in the mood for some fried chicken? Bah? So, he brings out the Delcaddy, and I know a 2-hit KO is going to win this game for me. So, good game, Dustox King, as always. Pleasure to battle you, my friend. And hope you guys enjoyed this battle. I should have some more battles coming up soon. And including the battle against uh, Reggie God and General Screws tournament. So have a good day, people. Later.